Welcome back, guys. Uh, last video, I did a um, comparison of Debian distributions, and after I published the video, I was asked by several people, what about MX16? Now, as you know, in the past, I've always regarded MX16 as one of the top Debian distros, no doubt about that. The only problem I have with MX16 at this point in time is with my NVIDIA card. And it's not that I can't get the NVIDIA drivers loaded because if you take a look at the NVIDIA settings, you can see that I have 375.66, which is very good. I had to install that. Uh, um, now, if I go to the NVIDIA installer, it doesn't work with my particular NVIDIA card. Now the NVIDIA card that I'm running is the the card that I'm running is the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. Now that card will only work in Linux with the 37566 driver. Anything prior to that, it's it won't work. So it puts me between a rock and a hard place because um, if I install, if I want to install 37566 within MX16 because it's still based on Debian Jesse. I have to enable uh, Jesse backports and that's how I installed this driver. So when I ins when I enable Jesse backports in my sources I am then able to install the correct NVIDIA driver package. Um, I still can't use the MX16 driver installer because it will not recognize my card. All it'll tell me, when I try to run it, it says your card is not supported by the 367 driver. And that is true. Uh, so anyway, make a long story short, I enabled Jesse Backports, I installed my NVIDIA driver 37566, that's what I'm running on now. I installed my Realtek Wi-Fi, which you can see I am connected to Wi-Fi right now. So that's working fine. So as you can see from the desktop, everything is working fine. And in most cases, this would be sufficient. One of the problems is I do quite a bit of Steam gaming. And when I installed Steam, because of the 37566 driver, it will not install the last file that I need to make Steam work. Now you can see Steam here is installed, but when I click on it, it says I'm missing the 32-bit libraries and Steam may not run. If I press enter to continue, it checks for updates and then it comes back and tells me that it failed to load the Steam UI. So normally when that happens, there is a fix. The fix, and I'm going to have to pull up the NVIDIA, the Debian NVIDIA or Steam page. So if I bring up the Debian Steam Wiki, you can see that it tells you that if you have any issues with your uh, Steam, you, it needs 32-bit OpenGL libraries, and it tells you to install this driver here. So if I open a terminal and I install you'll see what happens here.
so it doesn't want to install it it wants to downgrade to the 36744 if I downgrade to the 36744 my Nvidia card will not no longer be recognized so if I try to install the same driver that was installing aptitude if I try with apt get it says the same thing basically it wants to uh, downgrade to 367.44 it will it will not it will not uh, finish the install So I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. I can't downgrade to 367.44 because then my card will no longer be recognized. And if I want to run Steam, um, I can't do it on MX-16 with this particular graphics card. Now let me say that if I was running my older card, the one I removed from this machine which was the GT740 if I put the GT740 back in everything would work properly the problem is that it's a lesser uh, graphics card and some games would not run so it's a trade-off so now on the bright side this will all be resolved once MX 16 once MX Linux goes to the new stable which is stretch everything is based off Jesse right now and so that's why there are some limitations so hopefully soon the um, the folks over at MX Linux will be able to get uh, MX Linux running with the new Debian stable 9 once that happens all of my issues go away so I can't blame MX Linux for this issue because really this is an NVIDIA graphics card issue um, I'm hoping that MX Linux gets upgraded to the new Debian stable 9 soon that that way it'll enable me to run MX 16 on a daily basis everything else works fine if I do a search on MX you will find that MX Linux has probably the most proprietary utilities to help you configure and maintain your system on a daily basis they have many many as you can see here super utilities that just make it so easy uh, for you to get your system configured just the way you want it and MX 16 has always MX Linux has always been one of my favorites um, so hopefully I'll be able to get back to running MX Linux as soon as the they upgrade from um, Jesse to stretch so guys that is it for this video just a little explanation of uh, the issues that I'm facing with MX now um, I've got Debian uh, installed Debian stretch installed I on another petition and I've got Sparky Linux installed on another petition both of those run perfectly you can see I have Sparky Debian stretch Lubuntu all of those have no issues at all with my uh, NVIDIA card and I'm able to run Steam I'm able to get my NVIDIA graphics installed and so I know that uh, once MX Linux makes the jump to stretch th my problems will go away so guys uh, thanks for stopping by the channel today please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care